Believe it or not, I think I finally found it. It was right here all along. I just wasn't looking in the right place. So many beautiful rocks. That's a nice thing to find on my way out. Hi everybody, it's Kate from Katie Did and I am on the way to a big adventure. Kava and I are going to go on a road trip. Our first stop, Ruby Reservoir. Come along. Here we are at Ruby Dam. The reservoir was back behind me, but Theo Kellison told me that he's had good luck finding garnets down here below the dam, so I'm gonna give this a try first. It's a very pretty area. The river is fairly high right now, so I'm not sure we're gonna be able to find gravel. We'll give it a shot. All right, so my plan here is, oops. So my plan here is to just scoop up some gravel and put it in here, but I left my shovel up top. So now I'm gonna have to go back. What a doofus. It's not bad to have to walk back through this though. Well, this looks promising. Let's see if we can get some gravel out of here. Some kind of chert, I think. Cool. This whole area is called Ruby Range, and they have garnets and actual rubies. Um, I guess you can find sapphires here. It's just a whole lot of gemstones, along with rhyolite and soapstone. It's just a pretty cool area geologically. Oh yay, the sun's coming out. The sun is very helpful. What I'm doing right now is just washing away the dirt, hopefully leaving the good stuff. I have a screen here that's just about a quarter inch, which is what they recommend. So we'll see. See what happens. Looks like gravel. Ooh, look at that. That's a sapphire. I wasn't expecting that. Hmm, now I have a problem. I don't really have a place to put these. These little nuggets are actually former rubies, from what I've been told. Former garnets, excuse me. And I've been looking through here, and I really haven't seen very much besides that one sapphire. I have it tucked into my sock at the moment. Hopefully, I'll come up with a better way to keep this stuff. You usually have a bottle that you put things in. And of all the things that I remembered, with my long list for this road trip, that was not one of them. Anyway. There might actually be garnets in here that I'm just missing. I'm not terribly, terribly well versed in them. But I'm going to get another, another bunch of gravel and see, see what's the what. I'm pretty happy about that sapphire anyway. Sapphires, I've been looking at sapphire gravel quite a bit, so I, I can spot those pretty fast. But garnets are a different story. And just as soon as I turned off my camera, there's one right there. Well, I think this dark thing here is actually probably a ruby. Ah, garnet, garnet, darn it, darn it, garnet. Um, it's awfully dark, but it's got that kind of glassy feel to it. And so they're definitely here. I think I'm going to go up to the reservoir itself where there's just, it's all the whole banks of their sand and see if we can find some better gravel. This, this one is, you know, there's, there's definitely good stuff here, but because the river is so relatively high, a lot of the gravel is underwater. So 
gosh, look at all that. I bet if you went over and like dug in some of those banks over there, I bet that would be really good. Anyway, we're gonna go check out the reservoir. Well, the last time I was here, the reservoir was so low that there were multiple ridges of, of uh, bars where it had dropped and dropped and dropped. Granted, it was in late, it was in late summer. But, uh, you know, with all the rain we've had and the flooding and stuff, I think they're holding extra water in the reservoir, which means, of course, there are no beaches. If you've been watching me for a while, you know about my battle to find Wonderstone. There's a huge pile of Wonderstone somewhere in this area that I've seen on Google Earth now, and I was just sure I was gonna be able to find it this time, but so far I have not yet spotted it. So I'm gonna go walk around and see, <laughs> I'm gonna walk around and see what, uh, what I can find. This is just so crazy, I mean like, I've talked to numerous people who say, oh yeah, you can see it from the road, it's not hard to find. Three times I've been looking for this thing. So far, nothing. Believe it or not, I think I finally found it. It was right here all along. I just wasn't looking in the right place. It's a, it's a little bit smaller pile than I expected, which is why I didn't see it from the road. I suspect that people have been mm, taking pieces from it for a long time, which is why it's here. Uh, either the landowner wanted to share or he got sick of having people come up on his place and so he dumped it here instead. Anyway, we're going to take a look and see if we can find some cool Wonderstone to take home with us. Now that I've finally found it, I feel so happy. Well, I brought the squirt bottle and my hope is that I can see if there's something good inside of these before hauling them home. There's lots of really good small ones. I found this nice chunk. It's rather large, but it does not, I mean, large compared to some of the other ones, but it doesn't really have, you know, on the outside, it's pretty meh. But then I saw this and I thought, you know, I bet that has something inside of it. And then I saw over here. So this looks like it's probably going to be a pretty, pretty decent chunk of Wonderstone. I'm going to take it along. We'll cut it open, see what's inside. Okay, now that I've gotten a decent cutter, I'm going to just look at some of the smaller stuff and put some of that in my in my bucket here and uh, bring that home to you. This one looks interesting. Take that one along. These are all such different colors. Look at the reds in this one. Very cool. I'm trying to find a piece that has the good rings in it that I can show you. See, this is why people love it so much. It's just so pretty. This is rhyolite, so it doesn't really polish that well, but who cares when it looks this cool? Check this out. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at that. I don't even mind that these are small because they're just so gorgeous. We have a piece of Wonderstone at home that Jim bought at an auction at a rock show. And uh, we don't find any big pieces. We'll cut that one up and show it to you. One of the reasons I had trouble finding this is because I was a little confused by the instructions on the Montana rock hunting site. But it really is just inside of the first, the second cattle gate. And then there's a road to the left that leads to this little pile of stones. Boy, when it's all gathered in one place like this, it's just too easy. Look at that. Here's a piece that might be cuttable. Maybe. Yeah, I don't, I think it's just the wrong, kind of the wrong shape. The rings are in the wrong spot. We'll try to find something else. Well, it looks like we found something cuttable. Look at that. Wow. You know, this was worth the wait. I just, I, I love this material so much. It's just so pretty. Here's another one with really cool bands. I wonder how this was formed. I mean, rhyolite is formed because it's being thrown out of a volcano, but how did it get all these different colors? I'll have to look it up. 
This is kind of a neat one. This one kind of looks like a sunset. Or a sunrise, maybe. A sunrise over a fall tree. There really are no bad rocks here. So cool. The trick with these is they look kind of like nothing on the outside. This one has just a little bit of nick of the outside of it. You can see the banding there. I bet this is just spectacular. Now that I've found the pile, I really just don't ever want to leave. But Kava does. I think she hears a thunderstorm coming. What's wrong, Kava? Did Timmy fall down the well? This pile has been here for generations of rock hounders. And while what's left is pretty small, it's still so worth getting. Well, as promised, I looked up how Wonderstone is formed so that I could know and I could share it with you and then we'll both know. It, it turns out that Wonderstone is a welded vitric tuff of rhyolitic composition. This means that it was thrown out of a volcano while the magma was erupting and then if it gets covered with more magma, then it, the, it cools into a glassy kind of material. So actually this stuff should polish pretty well. After having cut it, I think it will be very shiny. The rings themselves are apparently formed when groundwater that contains iron and other minerals flows through the rhyolite. This occurs long after the rhyolite was deposited and hardened. I'm not sure why some of this tuff forms these beautiful bands and others just kind of blobs but I sure am glad it does. Besides this site in Montana, Wonderstone can also be found in Utah and Nevada. There may be other places in the country that have Wonderstone. If you know of them, please be sure to leave their locations in the comments below. Well, we're gonna head back down the road. I was gonna stay overnight here, but I got here early enough because of the reservoir being amped or too full that I'm going to continue down the road. It's about 30 more miles over a gravel road to Dillon, and then I'll look for a place to sleep over there. What we have here is a Montana traffic jam. Well, that was interesting. That whole huge flock, the, there was a guy on a motorcycle who was shepherding them down the road. I'm assuming they're moving pastures. Um, but he buzzed around side of them and they all went over to one side so I could get past. That was really cool. Go for it. Well, last stop on this road. This is the soapstone mine or the talc mine and this, all of this material, this that's called soapstone. And, uh, I always stop here on this when I'm on this road because oftentimes they have pieces and bits that are left over from when they fell off the truck and I can find them and use them. So that's what we're doing. Found some other interesting rocks here too. This is a, just a really nice quartz crystal. Nice chunk of quartz. That's what I'm looking for. I picked up some that have bigger crystals and they're they're talky, but they're they're not very carvable. This is very soft, it feels like soap. And I've used I've actually carved this stuff with a knife before. Well, that's the end of day one of the big adventure. I am set up at a camping site, a dispersed camping site in the Targi National Forest in Idaho. And uh, did you know you can camp on public lands without paying? <laughs> anyway, dispersed camping is a really cool thing. Check it out. This is Kate from Katie Did. Keep on doing.